Hello, my name is Trevor Joran and I'm really excited. This video is jam-packed with tons of helpful information about the world of mentors, how to get mentors, how to sustain them. So before I start, I would like to thank one of my mentors, Cliff Michaels. He wrote an excellent book called The Four Essentials of Entrepreneurial Thinking and it was incredible in the transformation of my paradigm and helping me grow to the person I am today. So Cliff, thank you. What I'd like to share with you guys is a formula to land mentors as well as a couple tips to keep them around. So as I discussed in the last video, the formula is simple. Know who you want to meet, know what your goals are. Once again, not everybody is successful in every area of life obviously. So you might want to find somebody who can help you in career, but you might want to help or you might want to strive to find somebody who can help you in other areas that you want to improve in as well. For example, like somebody who's socially really successful. That can be a mentor as well. They don't have to be only career related. Um, number two is choose and find mentors. Choose mentors that will work with your learning style. So understand what your learning style is and find mentors who are going to be good teachers for you. You know, not everybody's going to mesh well. Not everybody has the same type of teaching or learning style. So, drill down, find out what your style is, and start to find mentors who work well with you. Number three, contact and meet them. So, when you meet them, make sure you come off as a, a well put together young individual and ask them three questions What worked, what didn't work, and what lessons did you learn? Step four is to follow up. Remember guys, handwritten note, blue ink, shows originality, shows that you actually value their presence in your life. Five, decide if it's a good fit. Once again, do your learning styles mesh and is it a relationship that you see worth building and sustaining? Number six, if it is, constant contact. Make sure that every time you meet this guy or gal, that you've made improvements and you've actually done something to step forward and take their advice, but keep in touch with them and let them know how you're doing. Step seven, repeat. Now there's a couple tips that I want to share with you that I wrote down and they're going to help you make a good impression and keep mentors around. So number one, preparation is key. Know who you're going to be talking to. Know who they are what they've done, where they've been, when they've done it, and if possible, why they did what they did. Do your research. There's a couple of different things that you can do to find some good information. And what I'd like to share with you is uh <clears throat> give me a second. This is also the Leap Foundations book. That's an incredible place. Uh, look them up. I highly recommend it. Okay, what I was trying to get, get at is uh, sources of research. So, referral sources, news articles, The Receptionist, annual reports, industry magazines, their secretary, or interns that have worked for them. Those are great, great sources of information, guys. And make sure that you know who you're going to be talking to before you go in there. The more that you know about who they are, the more they think you know what you're doing. Next is ask. So Dan, great, great military guy. I don't want to give out his last name, but you know who you are, Dan. Uh, thanks for pointing this out to me action-oriented questions. Don't ask them questions that aren't going to lead to you being able to produce results. What I mean by that is try to learn something significant from every time you meet with your mentor and come up with a couple action steps about how you can be prepared for next meeting. Come up with a couple tangible goals that you're going to accomplish before you meet with them next time. And lastly is follow up. Take action on what they say and show them that you're doing it. Keep in touch with them and if you really would like, if it, okay, if it's the beginning of the relationship, handwritten note. Show them that you care. And then as the relationship grows, you can move into email because honestly, who's going to write a handwritten note every time you meet? It's just not going to happen. Phone, email, they work. Keep in touch. 
and just come off as a, a well put together young professional. You got it. Good luck.